Welcome JDC Moms and Dancers. Um, I'm Miss Candy and this is my model Cadence and I'm going to show you how to do the makeup for the competitions. I think Miss Chris has said this but you can get a little toolbox but what I like to do is I get these little, I got this at AC Moore. Um, they're in the craft section or scrapbooking section and I like this one because these little dividers come out and then you can make your sizes for everything. So I put my makeup all in one and then I have another one for all my hairpins, um, my comb, everything like that. Bobby pins, hair ties. And then I have one for all my pins, my little Velcro, Static Guard, Band-Aids. So these little dividers you can use for anything. They're very, very helpful and keeps you very organized. So when you first start out, you always want to find a foundation that's closest to your um, skin color. Give it a little shake. Everybody applies it differently, but I just dab it all over the place. This helps keep the makeup stay on. And then you just blend it. Make sure it gets right into the hairline. You don't have a ring around the face. Get it all in the creases. Make sure when you do the eyes, chin up a little bit, that it's nice and um, even. If it's not, it's going to be dark. And the eyes are important again because then it keeps your makeup on and you don't have to touch it up so much. Right down. Sorry, honey. <laughs> All the way down. Hairline. There. So that's step one. Right underneath. And everybody uses something different, but I have the little foam. Um, appliques. Then after the makeup, you go right to the eyeshadow, which is the Mary Kay Cinnabar, and make it go straight out. Do not go down. You want to open your eye up. And you do want a definite line. You do not blend like you do with your everyday makeup. You want a definite line. And see how it kind of comes out to a little point? And then just keep blending it. And then I do the other side. Same thing, go straight out. And the test to make sure your brown is high enough, because everybody's eye is shaped differently. The test is if she opens her eyes, you can see the brown. See how you can see the brown right there? Open again, Kate, and that's good. And then sometimes I just shape with my finger if I went down too far. Just make sure you go straight out. And you do go like out a little past the eyebrow to open it up. And then you just touch it up here and there. And it is pretty dark. You don't want like everyday makeup. You're not really supposed to see makeup. This is stage makeup. The lights uh, make you very light on stage. And then we go to the cream. And this is CoverGirl and it's the, I forgot what it's called. It's on the list though. It's like cream something. And this is the tricky part. See how Cadence's eyebrow starts thinning out and going up? That is where you start and you go straight out. You don't want to start all the way in. And again, do not blend. See how I have a definite line? That's what you want. And then I'll do the other side. Turn your head straight out. Again, see how I started where the eyebrow gets thin? And that's just the base, that's the cream. Then you move on to the silver. And this is the Revlon Diamond Lust. But in order to keep that on, you get chapstick. Any type of chapstick. And I like these little applicators are at like CVS or whatever. See how it's nice and flat? I just round that up. And again, start same spot and go straight out. Wherever you put this chapstick is where the silver is gonna stay. So you don't wanna go below that brown line. Another trick for the silver is you blot because you wanna get the little crystals. You want that glitter. So if you watch, I'm just gonna blot. I am not going to blend. See how I blot? And again, nice, definite line. And you have to go over it a couple times. Make sure you have enough on there because if you don't, your glitter eyeshadow will not stay. The dabbing is the most important key 
to get in that nice, nice crystal glitter look that makes your eyes really shine on stage. And another little trick is um, you can't use an applicator over and over because the, the chapstick stays on it. So probably like halfway through the season, you'll want to get a new applicator so the chapstick isn't on it, so it comes off nice. So there's that. And then after that is the famous eyelashes. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the eyelashes, and there's, um, you're gonna get the Ardell Professional Natural 101 Demis. There's two kinds you can get. You can get the kind that I use, that you have to use your eyelash glue, um, the Duo um, Clear White, or a lot of my parents also use the kind that are adhesive. They already have the glue on them, so you do not have to do the old-fashioned way. So whatever works for you, but make sure they're the Demi 101s. I'm gonna use the glue, which I always do, but just in case um, some moms wanna use the glue. There's a trick to the glue. You squeeze a little bit, very, very little, and then you move and you spread it out. A little bit of squeeze and then spread it out. You want a very thin film of glue. If not, it's going to end in her eyes, and her eyes will be shut closed. That will not be good. So just like that, and then I set this down. And then I just pull it out a little bit and get right down on the eyelash. Really, really low like that. glue but I just wipe it down a little bit you want to make sure you get it close into the eye and then I just quick do a little boop so her eyelash doesn't her two eyelids do not stick together now the petites and some students that have small eyes some girls have to cut just a little bit off you don't want them longer you want them the same size as your real eyelashes and it helps if um, the student doesn't squint your eye. If you notice Cadence, I pulled it out. She just left it nice and relaxed. No um, squeezing of the eye, which then wrinkles the skin. Sometimes the new ones are a little tricky because they're not formed to the eye yet. And then just press it down and then I just quick do a little boop to make sure there's no glue. And just let that sit for a little bit. While that's drying, I also want to say you can re reuse eyelashes. When you take them off, you just lightly peel the old glue off and it will come off. Don't keep applying glue on top of glue on top of glue because then they, they won't um, stick to the eye very well. Make sure it's nice and dry. If the glue, if you open the eye and it's still wet, the glue's gonna get up there. And then believe it or not, then your eyeshadow, wherever the glue is, is gonna be really dark and you don't want that. So I just go like this. Yeah, hers is dry and she's just gonna open. Go ahead, open kit. And if you look, it really looks like her eyelashes. I mean, they're right next, there's no space in between. 